Hey, today I'm going to show you how to upload a 360 video that you may have exported from DaVinci Resolve. By default, if you upload a video to YouTube in 360 from Resolve, it won't be 360. So go ahead and follow along with my instructions in this video, or go ahead and click on the video description and a link to my blog where there's a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this if you don't want to see a video walkthrough. So the first thing we need to do is open the 360 app. Once this is loaded, we will select our files. So if we want an entire folder, we go to File, Open Folder. Then we click on our folder and click Select Folder. Everything's going to import and then scroll down until you find the file you're looking for. It should be an INSV file. In this case, it's an 11 minute file. So double click it. On this screen, I'm just gonna say, got it. And then in the lower right hand corner, I'm gonna click export video. And then we'll have a slider switch that says export 360 video, which we click. The bit rate, 119 megabits per second seems fine. We'll keep the resolution the exact same. I think when I did this, I made this video an H.265 file since that should be a higher quality file for the same bit rate, but you can use whichever one you want. And then we click start export. Now the video is exported. If you want to, you can double click the video to make sure it plays. I'm using a program called Pot Player to preview and you can see that everything seems to work fine. Go ahead and close this for now. And then we open up DaVinci Resolve. So we'll go ahead and make a new project. We'll call this 360 tutorial and click create. First thing we'll want to do is go down to the lower right corner where it says project settings. We want to make the resolution the exact same as the Insta360 footage. So first we'll figure out what the resolution is. So back in the Insta360 program, we'll go ahead and click the export button again. And you can see once we click 360 video, our resolution is 5,760 by 2,280. So we'll go ahead and copy that over to resolve. So the timeline resolution, just paste in 5,760 by 2,280. And we're gonna save this as a preset for future use. So in the upper right corner, we'll go ahead and click the three little dots and we will say save current setting as a preset and name this whatever you want to. In this case, we'll call this Insta360 Tutorial Preset and click OK. And then we'll click Save. Now in the Edit tab in Resolve, we will see this window here. We'll go back to where we exported our 360 video and drag that into the edit window. And the project frame rate's different. Yeah, we'll go ahead and change the frame rate so that it works with Resolve, perfect. Now we'll go ahead and click on our clip and drag it into the timeline. This isn't a Resolve tutorial, but normally you'd you know, color correct in here or do some cuts if you wanted. In this case, I think I just increased the shadow level for the video and probably messed with the saturation and midtone detail. But once you've got everything you want to do in Resolve, you go down to Deliver. I think in this case, I made the video an MP4 file, and I don't think H.264 files can go past 4 or 5K resolution, so I made it an H.265 file. And your resolution should be the same as the project, which it is. So we just go up to top of this screen where it says File Name, name it whatever you want to. And for the location, click browse and save this wherever you think the file should be saved. In this case, I've already exported the video. I saved it to an SSD since it was a little faster. I click save and then you add it to the render queue. And once it's in your render queue, you can go ahead and select it and click render all. Now that your video is exported, you can double click it and you'll see the video isn't 360. If I try and move around, the whole screen moves around instead of the video being interactive. So we need to inject some metadata into this. To do that, click on the link in the video description to this Brightcove site. And in there, you'll find a program for either Mac or for Windows. I'm on Windows, so I just click on this Windows button and it downloads. You see a number two after it because I've already downloaded it a couple times. Then you go into your downloads folder, double click the zip file, and then you'll see an exe file if you're on Windows. Double click the exe file. You have a little box that pops up. So go ahead and click on the box. You'll see an option for open at the bottom of it. So click open. Navigate to wherever your video is exported and then click open. And since this is supposed to be a 360 video, make sure the spherical 360 is selected and then click inject metadata. It'll ask you to save it as a new name. I've already done this, so I'm not gonna click it, but you'll rename it and then click save. And shortly after it'll start saving. It could be a while to re-export it if you have a pretty big file. Once the metadata has been added to the video, it'll be saved next to your original video. And then we go to YouTube. Now that we're on YouTube, we'll go ahead and create a video, go ahead and upload video, and we will drag and drop what we just created onto the 
browser. You should already know how to do everything from this point on. This takes a long time to upload if it's a 360 video, like this was an 11 minute video and I think it took roughly an hour to upload. So I'm just going to back out of this and delete it for now. But that's all the steps you need to do. Once you've saved all your video descriptions and all that, you can click on your uploaded video and then you can move the whole thing around just like I showed you in the beginning.